Hello, and welcome to the fourth video of the Sleet Code and C-Shop series. The challenge we'll be looking at is the first hard difficulty challenge of the series, and it's called Median of Two Sorted Arrays. So let's go to our web browser and select Median of Two Sorted Arrays. So the challenge is, given two sorted arrays, nums1 and nums2, of size M and N, respectively, return the median of the two sorted arrays. So if you have nums1 of 1, 3, and then 2, the median is 2, because if you were to join them together and sort it, it would be 2. Then if you have 1, 2, 3, 4, the output 2.5, because if it's an even number, it's not going to have a median, so you, I guess go in between the two. Okay, cool. So, first need to get the length of both arrays. So, int length equals zero. And I'll do length plus nums one oh, equal. Why? Well, I can just do that here. <laughs> nums one dot length plus nums2 dot length and then we will divide this by 2 wait is that what we want to do? yep we'll divide by 2 but if it's odd obviously that won't work so if it's 4 it will go to 3 which is fine if it's 3 it will go to 1.5 so so maths dot ceiling which would then turn that into the number two. Let's just, let's look up to find out. Math dot ceiling. Okay, yep. So if the length of if the total length of these two arrays are four, it'll go to two, which is the median. No, we don't want that, do we? We want no. We won't do ceiling. Because... No, we don't need to do any of that. We'll just keep the length, and then if it's odd, we'll just do math.ceiling. And if it's even, we will do... So if here... So it's one, two, three, four. You want half length, then half length plus one. No, I actually do want that, how we had it before, kind of. But we need a... We need a different... We'll call this index stop equals this, but it will do it with the length. So, next step is... For the way that I'm doing it, this won't exactly... okay. Keep that. We'll then have nums1 in int nums1 index equals zero. That's right, semicolons. Need to do that for them. Int nums2 index, index equals zero. Then we're going to have int index equals zero. How will we do this? So it's going to be a loop. It's going to go through all the nums. Actually, no, we don't want to, we don't need to look through all the nums. We already have in it. Oh no, because we need to figure out what these ones are. Okay, we might actually need that. I think this is going to be another one where this approach will be in like the top 99%, but that's not what I'm going for. Top 99% of speed, but I do want better than that. Well, let's just give it a shot anyway. So, it's been for a while. Yeah, whatever, just do four. Int i equals zero. Don't need this. i is less than length i plus plus. So we'll do if i equals index stop. If length modulus Two equals zero. We will then do return. Well, we need to get the two numbers first. Okay, let's go back to the top of this one. So 
It's just three if. I'm trying to figure out the positioning of all this because you could have it so you grab the number here, but then you only need that number once you've reached this point. Okay, we'll go back to this. So we're getting, if we get to this point, we can just do a minus one on the index. So if no one is greater than num two plus plus, yep. Then we get down to here. Nums one equals index stop. Then we do these things. So for this one, we'll need to then figure out again. Creating a boolean to specify which one is smallest, so then when we get down to here, we can actually know. So, if it's no, let's just do the odd one first, because that's the easiest. So then this will be if smallest return nums one nums one index. Minus one. Else. Numbers two and numbers two. Sorry, that's this is odd one I'm pretty sure. Now for up here we need to figure things out again. So we have that value, then we do this again. So we'll move these and then what we will do is even num one equals so if this is true actually we want to do this at the very top it will then be this minus one or this minus one so we've got the first number now we're trying to get the second number which will then be so you do this no we don't we just need the number so we've got in there so then we just need int even num2 equals and then do this this or this so get rid of that then we return even num1 plus even num2 divided by 2 and it is expecting a double well let's see if it returns a double let's just run it ah no surprise there that I forgot a bunch of these so that was line 21 line 23 line 24 okay now let's run again Did I... Is it math instead of maths? Let's see if it, Okay, it was just math. Then, line 2. Turn 
now. The code is ambiguous because the following methods or properties. Method ceiling and solution. I'm not sure what it's asking about. Is it saying I need to turn it to a double? We'll see if that does anything. Actually, that will, this will need to be done. Okay. okay. Let's have a proper look at what how to use math for ceiling. Because I thought that's just how it worked. Yeah, so it returns integer. It's fine. So. Maybe I need to convert this to an int. Is that what it's saying? Let's see if removing this fixes that. Okay, let's put that double back in. Let's try again. Oh, yeah, we're meant to be returning a double. Maybe it already converts a double? Index was outside of bounds of array. Okay, I guess we need to put a check to see if. One of the rays is much smaller than the second ray. Like if it reaches a limit, then just skip it, which is annoying. Didn't think of that. So we'll change this logic to if nums to index is greater or equal to nums to dot length or or nums one index is less than nums two nums one dot length and I don't need this num two thing here. So if nums two length is greater or equal than the actual length of the array, just automatically go here. If nums one index is less than so if this is false it then just go straight there. Yeah I think that's how we'll do those checks. So we'll just grab that and so we need to do the check here as well which is fine because we're doing the checks up here it's for the second one where we'll have to do this so chuck that into here as well so let's get that shot. Okay valid expression I think I accidentally deleted part of it. Let's just chuck this here so that's fine, that's fine, let's end nums1 ok yep, let's try again int does not contain a definition for length these are int arrays ah, that's right, it's a lowercase there that's the mistake and not sure what happened here get rid of that so we need to fix this one as well Capital L. Hopefully that was the only problems we have. Num one. Yep, that's right, it's nums one. Not num. So nums, nums. I think it was just that one instance where I got read it incorrectly. Okay, now another go. Okay, so so that output three. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so how would have that happened? So it would have gone nums1, nums2, nums3, nums4. I would have thought it would go 2, 3, divide. Okay, let's go through it. So, if you go through here, you get 4 divided by 2, which then makes it 2. Yep, got the index there. Going through ball smallest is nums1 
so this would be false this would be true this would be true so nums one plus plus smalls isn't true I would not equal index dot index dot needs to be minus one because we're using the indexes which would been it's zero one not like zero one two three not one two three four okay although I'm surprised the odd one actually worked so that might be an issue okay well now both of them are wrong which is not very useful did I do the modulus wrong I'm going to need to run this a few times just to see if the numbers are even working. So let's do this. Turn to three. Now let's try even on one. So for this one, I think it might be doing the math and then turning into an int. So we might need to do double, double. Let's run that. Okay, that worked. But why is this one failing now? So we changed this number up here and then that caused it to fail. So if it's three divided by two, you get... 1.5, now we're sealing it to 2, and then we're changing it to minus 1. But if we have this, it should be 0, 1, 2. So what's getting returned? So it's returning 1 for some reason. So that means this is happening on index 0. Okay, let's troubleshoot this number. So if it's here, we'll just turn this. Let's run the test. Okay. It's returning zero. I'm not sure how that's happening because... So we've got a length of three. Okay, we've got three. Might need to turn this into... Oh, I think, I think that is why. Turn this into a double. Because it was doing divided by two, turning it to one. Okay. We can get rid of that cast. So that. Now if we remove this return, it should work, hopefully. Of course, I'm forgetting that. Wait, line four. So we cast it in my ceiling. Parentheses, parentheses, closing. Okay, and left the next one there. Now let's go. Okay, cool. So let's submit and see how it goes. Awesome. That's the first time that we've submitted, and it's gone through perfectly, I think. And not only that, it's on a hard one, and it's more performant than the other 85% of attempts. So if you enjoyed watching me solve this leak code problem called median of two sorted arrays, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos that I upload to this leak code and C-sharp series.